the big thing that worries me is um, the unsupervised delivery. A lot of mothers, they attend antenatal care at the antenatal clinic in the health facility, but then maybe 50% of those mothers, they tend to deliver back at home. Most mothers, they, they give birth back in the village or on their way while uh, going to the health facility to deliver. Delaying in making decisions and delaying in receiving the care. That's where mothers, most of the mothers died. They are dying in the remote areas. I was at 3 o'clock. I was at about one hour. I was at the same car. And then, 4 o'clock, I was at the same car. I was at the same car. For fertile health, we still have, have the uh, highest uh, child mortality, under five mortality and also infant mortality rate uh, in this region, uh, Western Pacific region. We call it postpartum uh, hemorrhage or, or bleeding during delivery and, and after delivery. So this is the main cause of the death. First one, maybe in 2011. Me three months, na me miscarriage. Malaria been contribute long end. Health center me close to, but lo money no sa to correct lo go kainose. Miscarriage he start lo weekend long end me been kissim pull up him wara me fetch him wara lo fifteen liter container na me climbing mountain one ten. Sexually transmitted infection. It's very common, and it's part of the uh, infection that causes mother to come. So I think we are misdiagnosing sometimes because we don't actually have the microscope or we don't have the lab technician here to help us to diagnose. So when they arrive at the hospital, there should be and always a doctor there and a midwife yeah. to attend to them. So currently, we don't have more midwives. We have less midwives. Some of them are like, they're educated, so they know, they know that they should bring the wife and so they, they, bring the, they follow them to the clinic. Some are not educated. That's why they left their wives behind. And the wives themselves go to the clinic. The husband does not take an active part in, in the, the, the pregnancy period that the, the wife is going through. So husbands, fathers-to-be, we need to educate them. There's hardly any awareness or talk on family planning. When I witnessed her in labor, it's like the thought of family planning came up. Like I don't want to put her through a lot of pain. I will really have to save more mothers and more newborn babies to get a life by encouraging them to come to the clinic. Papua New Guinea has one of the highest rates of maternal and newborn mortality in the world. Each year, 1,500 women die as a direct result of either pregnancy or childbirth, and 5,000 babies don't make it through their first month of life. A recent review by the National Department of Health and the World Health Organization identified that up to 98% of these maternal lives could be saved through swifter access to quality health care. The Burnett Institute, together with government, the Institute of Medical Research and the University of Papua New Guinea, are working to conduct research that not only will identify the reason behind these deaths, but will also work to strengthen the health services that provide care. We would welcome your support. Thank you for supporting healthy mothers and healthy babies. Thank you for supporting healthy mothers and healthy babies. Thank you for supporting healthy mothers and healthy babies. Thank you for supporting healthy mothers, healthy babies.